welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then hello, welcome, lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, then hello, welcome back. <laughs> I've done it once and now I feel like I've always got to do the hello. <laughs> Only cats can hear me now. So I'm Rosie Henshaw and today I'm bringing you a really, really cheap um, DIY Christmas decorations, like tree decorations, that's what I'm making today. So I've got a few bits from Pound Shop, a couple of the bits I already had, um, but they, you can get them in the Pound Shop, it's just that I had them from previous years, but when I went in there today, they did have them, I went to put it in my basket and thought, let's be savvy, if you've already got it, there's no need just to buy for demonstration purposes, people will know that they have them in there, it's absolutely fine. So I have, if you watched my Decenio collaboration yesterday, that was uploaded yesterday, I filmed that on Friday, so it's a little bit confusing me, because I normally just video, film my videos on that day, they go out within half hour of me filming it. So I cleared a little space in my dining room, normally I have a little tabletop tree, and it would go on my cupboard that used to be there, but this year I'm going to have a slim, slimmer one, but a tree, like a taller tree. Now I don't want to spend loads and loads of money on new decorations, and the kind of decorations that I like are kind of... They kind of look quite expensive, so they're from stores that would be quite a lot of money, but you can make them yourself, so I'm just going to show you the decorations. You can do this in different colours, not just saying you can do them in these colours, you can do them, and I'll go along as I go in the video because I'm just rambling on. So, the first thing I'm going to get onto is, if anyone remembers, I bought these from the range. Now, these are the fillable ball balls. Now, they have got these in the pound shop as well, just to clear that up. They do them in the pound shop, pack of four and you can fill your own ball balls. I also went into Wilkinson's, you get two for a pound in Wilco. Um, I think these were one ninety nine in the range for four, but I think these are a little bit bigger, and they, I don't know why, but I had some pound shop ones last year, I just raided my garage having a little look to see if I could find them. I have so many Christmas decorations, I couldn't, because I wanted to get more out, but these are the fillable ball balls. Now, these are one of the most simplest, easiest ways to change up your Christmas decor. If you buy a few of these, because you can just fill them with things that change up the colours. So, one thing that I did see in a lot of the shops lately are the beaded glitter filled um, ball balls, which are just beautiful, but they range from about £2 each. So, when you can get these from the pound shop for a pack of, for a pound for a pack of four, and you can also get these beautiful metallic beads. Now these are like a champagne silver sort of colour. They look like they're glass beads. They might be plasticky ones, but you get, how many did you get in this? Is it how many grams or? But it's a big packet compared to my hand. That is quite full up as well. So just a little idea is to undo the bubble. This is like, I'm just doing the most simplest ones as we go on. Get them out of the way because I've got some more intricate ones coming. And so these are probably do about three ball balls if you want to be generous with it. I'm not going to fill it up. So for a pound, like two pounds, you could do four ball balls, and that's a lot cheaper than if you bought them in the shop like that. Because even B and M, B and M, B and M have some, and they're two ninety nine for a pack of four. So and it's kind of nice because you get to make them yourself, and they're quite cute. And literally just pop the lids back on, and you've got some. Glittered filled champagne ball balls, and they look really cute. You could fill them up to the brim, but I'm not going to. Give them a good shake, they're probably. Or what you could do is line this with a bit of PVA glue, put the ball uh, the things in, shake it, and then it will end up sticking all to the sides, and you'd have a completely glitter ball ball. But you can wipe them, dust them because the glitter's not on the outside. And what I thought would finish that off nicely is rather than tying the gold ribbon that comes with it, it's really, really thin, naff plastic ribbon, it's just a little bit of jute. And I think that I'm going for like a sage green, um, whites and champagnes. It's kind of, I like to mix my metals. Um, so probably them sort of colour schemes I'm thinking to go, go with. Put a bit of jute. And once that's tied up, it's just going to look really, really sweet, really rustic and just look really, really cute. Now you could even tie a little bow on this as well in the jute. Just make it look really, really cute. So that's one of them out of the way from the pound shop. Also, from the pound shop, I picked up these. Now, these are ideal, especially if you've lost someone or you know that someone's lost somebody. And they say about feathers um, and finding white feathers. Well, you get a, pan, a pack of these in the pound shop and it is full. And they're lovely and white. Sometimes they're a bit yellow and they look a bit gross. And what's quite nice with these ones is, is you could take a few feathers, open one of the empty bubbles and put a feather in or a couple of feathers. And what really is nice is it looks really nice. 
but you could make this for a friend that you know has lost somebody and perhaps with like a gold sharpie on the front right in memory of someone so that when it's on the Christmas tree it just looks pretty or um, when you hear a bell ring or something angels are near or something like that you could write something really cute on that with a gold sharpie but other than that I just think they look really beautiful really lovely just some feathers and once they've all got jute on them they're going to look so classy hung on the tree and I've seen very similar ones listed at Marks and Spencer's and places like John Lewis and they're a lot more money for a packet of these but you've just made them by yourself so they're going to go on my Christmas tree another idea what to do now you haven't got to use these clear baubles I will show you why you can use any old baubles I've got baubles that were glittery ones and they've just gone all the glitters come off them they look a bit naff don't ever chuck those because you can repurpose those and what I'm going to show you is this now, in the pound shop, they sell a lot of, um, you know, like sacks, burlap hessian sacks, like this. This one was $1.99 from Home Bargains from last year, but I was going to buy it. It doesn't have the glitter in it, the jute sack, in the pound shop. That's just be said. That doesn't. I thought this was exactly the same, but it isn't. It's kind of got like a bit of a glitter weave to it. But the one from the pound shop is just like proper potato jute sack. And they're the big Christmas ones that would do so many ball balls and it's only a pound. Like I said, I put it back down because I thought I'm not going to spend that much money on getting loads and loads of stuff if I've already got pieces. Now what I'm going to do is, is I've already got another sack. Um, my mum got me one this year and it's a cap kit someone. So I don't need that sack, this sack anymore. So rather than chucking it, let's make some ball balls from it. So I'm just going to cut a nice square off from the material. And it literally is as simple as... I'm going to make sure I've cut it so the seam isn't on it. I'm going to try and do... I don't even know if I've cut this big enough. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, it isn't big enough. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Mrs. Fink, she's Mrs. Craft Queen. Hasn't even cut the square big enough. I'm going to make this a bit bigger just to make sure. Yeah, that should be big enough now. I'm going to need to, do you know what, I'm doing all this and you can't see it without my basket in front and I've got the basket but I forgot to film it. So, just a little bit of fabric cut off. Where is that on the end? Someone's written something on the inside, probably when I was making it. Pop your bauble in the middle and just ruche this up, folding it, making really cute little pleats as you go up. Make sure you've already tied a string on this because it makes it easier and then with a little bit of jute you can even glue this on if you'd like and I'm going to trim all the excess off in a minute you'll see sorry a bit of jute that's got attached a string good knows what's going on in my little craft room at the minute so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to really tightly tie some jute around the top to make it all in nicely tie a little bow on the front now these are really really cute because these look really rustic probably would be better with the jute sacks from the pound shop though not gonna lie because this is quite thick it's got a lined fabric in it and it's white on that side on the jute ones you get it's gonna look cute on that side so you, it doesn't really it's not gonna look as scruffy when you cut it so bad points there Rosie you should have just picked it up but I didn't and the moral of the story is you should have but I didn't so we won't dwell on that too much. I've also cut the stem off, which is just typical of me. Typical Rosie. Messing stuff up. That's just me. These look so, so cute. And you could tie a really cute little ribbon on that to tie that up. But I am going to just repurpose the jute again because the thing is they might sound like really simple ideas which of course they are um i'm gonna <laughs> gonna struggle to find the hole now do you know what i'm gonna do i've got the hot glue gun at the ready i'm gonna hot glue it on we'll see if that works rule to oneself do not put hot glue on your fingers because it hurts <laughs> This is just demonstration purposes, by the way. You haven't got to hot glue this on. It has got a little hole that you can tie that through. Just don't cut it when you're tying this up. But like I said, it will be much easier with a Hessian burlap sacks. 
and then you tie that up and it's just cute. But these are gonna look so cute together. So having like a little jute one, some little bead ones hanging up, a little feather one, all different ones on the tree. I promise it's gonna look really farmhouse, really rustic and just look beautiful. But if you have different color schemes, you can buy them beads in loads of different colors or sequins. So if you have like white and blue, you could mix, the, mix them together. You could have red in there. As for the feathers, you don't have to put feathers in there. If you go for really traditional, you could put a pine cone inside instead. You could put any colour fabric on this, whatever you like, an old t-shirt from the charity shop. Anything you want, you can wrap around these ball balls. And another thing is as well, bringing the outside in. So I've got a lot of autumn craft sack stuff left over. So I've got some of the foliage of like the, the little, um, what are they called? The pinecone berries. I've got some eucalyptus left over. So with one of the balls that's still empty, you could just pop in some of the sort of autumn foliage that you had going on in the um, autumn. You don't have to waste these items. If you've got them left over, just pop them in. And they look really, really sweet. And then you've got sort of like autumnal, Christmassy kind of ball balls. And they just all look so pretty together. But I'm gonna give that a rest now. I keep just putting things in, like this is a craft video, but I'm just putting things inside ball balls. But the other thing I was going to say is you can use the same idea with even sleeves. Now, I know you've not got no sleeves left after the pumpkin tutorial. I had so many people send me pictures. They was like, they've come out amazing. But the point is, if you have the, the, the actual middle parts left of your jumpers, you can use that and tie the wool around them and make little woolen ball balls. They'd look really, really cute as well. Really, really rustic, which I'm going to do. But I know we're running out of time on the video. So... I'm gonna get on with all the other ones. <laughs> so also in the pound shop, they had these. So you get lovely little wooden signs and they come in a pack of two and they say, peace on earth. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it like that. Peace on earth and you get a pack of two. So if anyone remembers my leftover trusty metallic spray paint champagne one from Wilco, they do loads of lovely ones in the pound shop now. We've all been testing them out on our pottery and they're brilliant. But I'm just using what I have already and I thought it was quite a nice color. So I sprayed it in the champagne colour, Peace on Earth, and I thought that was lovely. And if anyone remembers, they've got these in the pound shop now as well. But I've got a pack of two of these for a pound in a place called The Works. And they're like the little willow wreaths. And I thought what these would look cute for is if I stuck on a little bit of hot glue either side of the wreath and stuck on my little Peace on Earth sign. Do you know what would have been really, really appropriate, Rosie? Is if you actually measured it out first. <laughs> so this is how this is how you know a lot of this stuff isn't ever prepped. Go with it. But that's what you've got to do with crafts. Just try, try your best, try your luck at it, see how you get on. That's the that's the that's the most you can do. And it's fun. You're meant to do fun. Like obviously these are gonna look lovely, they're all gonna look really beautiful in my tree. I can't wait to take pictures and put them on Instagram. And I will do a little Christmas home tour so you'll see all these finished items then as well. Just looking really sweet. But once that's glued on, you've got like a little wreath with the piece on earth, which just looks so cute. So you get two for a pound of these and two for a pound of these. So for two pounds you get two of them. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to rummage through. If anyone ever wonders what's in this wicker basket, you probably don't. It's full of ribbon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've probably made everyone jump then. I've done it again. This is my filming. Sorry, guys. So every Christmas, I go to Fortnum & Mason and get a little hamper made up and they wrap it in the most beautiful ribbon. Little Fortnum & Mason, you can get loads of lovely ribbons at Christmas time in the pound shop. I'm just going to trim this. And use this because I think this is going to look adorable. And I'm just going to tie this up together. Hopefully this will work. I won't look atrocious. And I'm going to have to trim that, I think. Or just leave it like that, you know. And I'm just going to hang this on my tray. And I think that also looks really, really cute. And what you could do with this is you could stick some of the berries onto it. Like some of the leftover foliage. You've got a pine cones. Hang these on. This would look really cute. Some of the little leaves and the little autumn sprigs. You could put on this. Really go all out with it. Also, if anyone remembers from my advent calendar alternative ideas. In the pound shop, they've got the like packaging little berries. You could stick some of this to it. A red ribbon. If you're going to go sort of go rustic, paint this in red. Any colours you like, but I think that's going to look really cute. And I keep bringing in all the ball balls just for demonstrations, but all of this sort of rustic stuff is just going to look so cute on the tree. 
or you can even have this as a tree topper at the top of your tree. I'm very in for having alternative weird things on the top of my tree. I don't actually have a star on my tree on any of them. I have tons of foliage coming out the top. So that might sound really disgusting, but I really like it. So another thing I was going to do, what was it else? Ah, oh, Unagi. So <laughs> another thing I was gonna do is, in the pound shop, please don't judge, you're gonna think, what is she doing with these? These are little hats, little pan shop party hats, and you get a packet of 10. Now, what I thought these would be brilliant for is they're very similar to sort of the abstract kind of like Christmas trees that you get nowadays that they sell in a lot of the shops. Bear in mind, they're only cheap, and they do do tinsel ones in the pound shop for a pound as is. But these are kind of good if you're gonna make these with the kids. Now, yet again, you could wrap your jute round it, or your hessian and glue it on and make little hessian trees that would look really, really cute. And you could just make a little star or get a little star and stick it on the top and have them scattered around on my sort of dresser, cover it properly with the right amount of fabric. Or the most quick and easy way, brilliant, I've not even bought in a brush. Should I run and get a brush? I think I probably should run and get a brush. Sorry that I'm such a klutz. I'm gonna run and get a brush. just because I think it's easier with PVA glue and I'm gonna put a bit of PVA in a bowl it's quite self-explanatory really isn't it but what I thought would look really cute is if I paint on PVA onto this party hat now bear in mind you're gonna have about 10 of these and you could have these and make up a little winter scene you could cut them a bit shorter and have these hung from a tree we'll have a little go with that in a sec I just thought these are gonna look really, really sweet. And I'm just gonna go like this. And what I'm gonna do is with a pot of glitter, now this was £1.99 for a massive pot of glitter, but they do this in the pan shop as well. This was from b and I'm using silver. And I'm just gonna sprinkle all the glitter on today's now these are just you can do these in mix mixed metals whatever color you want but these are just gonna look really really sweet and I think what I'm gonna do is in my conservatory which I've newly painted I think because it's got like a long windowsill that just goes around the whole entirety of it just making a little winter scene is just gonna look really cute and they start to make little glittery trees or have these still as party hats but just make them glittery because little cheap, they are really tacky, just like bright yellow, blue and yellow and stuff. You can make them really classy and you could put like little signs on them using like brown paper and write like Prosecco Queen on any nicknames that you have for your friends. And that's just a rough idea, but look, look how cute they look. Or what you could do is use this shape, glue on some feathers at the back Get a little card head, cut it out and put it on the top. Make yourself a little fairy to hang on the tree. Literally, I just love these party hats. When I see the party hats, I was like, I'm getting those because they are going to look super sweet. And what I thought was as well is what I just said is cutting them a little bit smaller. So you can make, by cutting it across the top, so you can make a little winter scene by making smaller versions of them, making loads of different little ones. And you could hang on, glue a little bit, Break onto this first before you start gluing. Before you glue and then hang these from the tree, like little like origami little trees and do the same purple process of gluing it, glitter, and loads of little trees you can have hung from your tree, which would look really, really cute. So I've got glitter in my hair. I'm gonna go back, my, my nan's got the children for me. They're doing crafts around there and playing with Lego and while I'm doing my video, and I just thought it was so funny because I'm gonna go back there now, she's like, what on earth have you been doing? <laughs> I'm playing with glitter, Nan. So these are just a few little quick ideas, and then I think, oh, that's what I was gonna say as well. Any old glitter baubles that you do have, as well, that have gone tacky, yet again, you can PVA over them and stick the glitter over the top of them. And another little trick, which is the little rustic baubles, which would look so, so cute, is if I'm finding it, it's hiding from me, 
is another way to do it is to pop a tiny little bit of hot glue. Now, I wouldn't probably use the fillable baubles with this. I would just buy a packet of really, really cheap baubles, you know, like the bright coloured sort of ones that you don't really want. And you just, put, I'm just starting off with a little bit of peeve, um, hot glue. I'm gonna have to put a bit on that side to keep it on. To keep it on. Let's get it on. Ooh, babe. I don't know where on earth that come from. But we can just twist zoot around. Now you can do this with PVA or other glues, but I find if you just wrap around and go around the whole ball ball, you're gonna end up with like a lovely I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it a bit. Nothing to lose, bros, have ya? Nothing to lose by going for it. I honestly can't get out of these moods that I'm in. My mum and my sister and all that, they've always said to me, like family, oh, you always have nutty half hours. And I've always thought, what do you mean a nutty half hour? But as I'm getting older, I'm realizing my kids have also got the same traits as me. And there is such a thing as a nutty half hour. So we just like burst into dance or song, or just say really silly things. And uh, now I know why my mum <laughs> used to get so frustrated with me as a child. It's funny when the kids do it, but when you're like, enough now, come on, it's bedtime. <laughs> and they're having the night half hours. And you'll see the process, so you just go the whole way round and you will end up with a twine ball. Alternatively, you just roll the ball of twine and hang a bit of ball from it hanging from the tree. But this is the more proper way of doing it. And make them all twiny. And then you could paint the bottom of it and dip the bottom in glitter. One thing I did want to get today, and I couldn't get them anywhere, so if anyone can tell me where to get them, is the polystyrene. Um, I'm going to say it, because it was such a good idea, and I thought, well, I can't get it, so I'm still going to tell people about it, so you might be able to use it, even if I can't. Um, is, you know the polystyrene um, Christmas baubles? You know when we done that pumpkin, and we put the push, push pins in it? put push pins the whole way round them baubles and they would look like their little studded baubles, they look really classy. And I think if you get a mix of all of these together, they're just gonna end up so pretty. It's nice to have a bit of a mix of some baubles and these have cost me a few quid. And the thing is, yes, I haven't got many of them, but with loads and loads of lights and I'm gonna use up a mix of a few baubles that are shop ball. B&M have got some beautiful ones at the moment. Then I've got some really nice, unique ones that would have cost me a lot of money in another shop. I'm going round, we'll see if I get round the end. What time is on the video? Yeah, I'm gonna have to let it go. And then let it go. And then I will show you in my, um, I can't show you in my next one because I've actually got, even though this is being filmed today, because I'm going round to my friends on Friday. I cannot wait. Bestie, I can't wait to go and see her. It's been ages since I've been to her house. And she's had loads of it done. I can't wait to see. Um, but I'm going down there on Friday. So I will be doing my try on Friday. But I won't be doing my craft video. I've got a little collaboration on Friday with another YouTuber. I don't really like doing collabs and things like that. It's not really my thing. But she's such a great crafter and it'd be so nice if you could go and have a look because she comes up with the most amazing ideas. Like, I'm very slapdash, but she's a very good crafter. <laughs> so you might be able to actually get some proper crafts from her. So I'm going to be doing that on Friday, so I'm going to be filming that in a minute. But you get the idea. You get the idea. Nice little bit of ribbon on that with all the different ones hanging from the tree. Gonna look really good. I guess keep bringing them into focus so that you can see them. You know what they look like. So... I hope you've enjoyed this little craft. It's only a little quick one, but it isn't quick on the time, but you know what I mean. So have a lovely rest of your week. And I've got two videos on Friday, a ginormous craft, and it's huge. So hopefully <laughs> you'll tune in for that and my try on Friday. So take care. Have a lovely rest of your week. Bye.